thanks for tuning in. Uh, on request of so many of my subscribers and friends, I finally decided to do this video for you guys. And today I'm going to tell you how you're going to place all your equipment on an auto plane with a pixel. So I will tell you how you're going to you know place your camera, your battery, and you know maintain the center of gravity of your plane perfectly so that you know you do not have any problems when you go out in the field. So whatever you have to do in your workshop is what I'm going to tell you about today. I hope this is gonna help you guys. So what I've done is I've already set up the Pixar part uh, on the exit and I've already installed the uh, airspeed sensor, the telemetry, the motor, propeller and everything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically place the batteries. I'm going to use two batteries of 5000 mAh and the Sony Next camera on this and then see if my CG is coming correctly or not. And in case not, then I have to place my equipment in such a way that the CG is 100% correct. So what I'm going to do is I normally like to place my batteries here and I like to place my camera in front. So I'm just going to do this very randomly and check if the CG is correct or not. So now I'm checking the CG of this plane as, and as you can see it is very much tail heavy. So I need to make some adjustments again. So I'll do that now. Since the plane is tail heavy so I'm going to move my camera in front right here and check again if the center of gravity is correct or not. So now after moving the camera in front, as you can see I'm getting a good CG and it is just a little bit nose heavy which is what I always prefer. So now the uh, position of the batteries and the camera over here, they are finalized as per me and the center of gravity is pretty good over here. But I'm not going to mount these, uh, you know, using any Velcro or anything like that and I'm not going to cut a hole at this time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, checkered fiber tape and I'm going to tape the batteries and the camera. I will go to the field. I will make sure that I take my flight at least two or three launches, two or three good flights. Make sure that the CG is 100% correct. I'm sure I will have to make some adjustments. That is the reason I'm using a checkered uh, tape. And once everything is final, I'm going to put marks on the battery and uh, marks on this side uh, towards the camera and make sure that everything is 100% correct. And then again, come back to the workshop and then maybe, you know, put a battery mount at the base and cut a hole according to the camera. And then after that, I will go in for auto tuning. I will also tell you how the trimming is done, but maybe in the next video. I hope this is going to help you guys. Take care. Happy flying.